Well, I saw the commercials on TV. Well, actually, my grandma did. So she phoned here in Canada, and she told my mom, you should get your son to try out for The Voice Kids because it's a dream for my whole family uh, for me to be part of a TV show that big and for me to finally reach my dream. So I got to fly to the Philippines. Uh, it was my dad and I. Well, you have to audition to get to the blind audition. So that's what I did first. And then I got accepted to the blind auditions. And <clears throat> that's how I made it to the voice stage. And then I sang Domino and uh, Coach Sarah and Coach Bamboo turned for me. Uh, Coach Sarah, she has been my idol. Actually, lahat po sila idol ko po since bata pa po ako. Pero Coach Sarah kind of has the same genre as me. She's pop and ballad and I'm as well. So that's one of the reasons why I chose her. For me, it was a good thing that my dad and my mom taught me how to speak Tagalog here and at home because right when I got back from school, they would start speaking Tagalog. And I was like, can, I, can you speak English? But now it's kind of a good thing because when I go to the Philippines, I actually know what they're saying and I can understand them and I can also speak with them in Tagalog. And then when I got to the Philippines, I was sweating so much but I was kind of glad because the snow here in Canada was almost year-round. So that's, I, it took a long time for me to adapt, but then I kind of got used to the heat after a few months. Actually, in the Philippines, I've, on mall tours, I've been to Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So it's pretty cool seeing all the supporters all over the Philippines and not just in the Philippines until here in Canada, the US and <clears throat> I'm actually going to be doing an Asian tour in Qatar, Singapore and I'm also doing a show in Australia. So that's the upcoming shows I have. when I'm waiting to perform because sometimes it takes a long time until I actually sing. So I like to play on my iPad or do stuff on my phone. And sometimes I practice and vocalize. And also I like to, uh, I don't know, I like to hang out with my friends backstage. Kuya Jed is very nice, he's very kind to me and um, the first time I met him, he guested me at his All Request 2 show and we did a duet and after that we kind of bonded a little more so we hung out and that's kind of how we got to know each other and became close friends.
record label and it's an international recording company it's universal music actually and they got me to uh, produce my very first solo album which is coming out this December and I'm very excited for that as well and my endorsements are Jollibee and Eton International School which I got to be a part of because they got us as a scholar It's not my first time in Vancouver, uh, but through the through the years, uh, I kind of got to explore more of Vancouver because we got more time. And each time we'd be in Vancouver, we'd either go to Victoria or cross the border to Seattle. So it's it's kind of a long drive, but then when we get there, it's worth it. Yes, my parents have done a lot of sacrifices for me, for me to reach my dreams and my goals in life. And also the Darinatics, my fans are also an inspiration to me when I'm recording and my family, my friends and relatives. Fanta fans, the Darren Addicts, I would like to thank you from the very bottom of my heart for all the support you have given me, for believing in my talent, and uh, I love you guys. Take care always, and God bless. Watching Kinoi Buzz with Janice. 